Good morning and welcome to our service of morning prayer on Thursday, October the 7th. The words that we use for this prayer are taken from the Church of England liturgy daily prayer according to common worship. And now let us begin. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, Creator of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, Open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. The set psalms for today are Psalm 90 and Psalm 92. And we're going to read through Psalm 92. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to tell of your love early in the morning and of your faithfulness in the night time. Upon the ten-stringed instrument, upon the harp, and to the melody of the lyre. For you, Lord, have made me glad by your acts, and I sing aloud at the works of your hands. O Lord, how glorious are your works! Your thoughts are very deep. The senseless do not know, nor do fools understand, that though the wicked sprout like grass, and all the workers of iniquity flourish, it is only to be destroyed for ever. But you, O Lord, shall be exalted for evermore. For lo, your enemies, O Lord, Lo, your enemies shall perish, and all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn you have exalted, like the horns of wild oxen. I am anointed with fresh oil. My eyes will look down on my foes. My ears shall hear the ruin of evildoers who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree and shall spread abroad like a cedar of Lebanon. Such are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be vigorous and in full leaf that they may show that the Lord is true. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. You, O Lord, shall be exalted forevermore. Give us the music of your praise, Lord, morning, noon and night, that our lives may be fruitful and our lips confess you as the true and only God. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Old Testament reading is taken from the second book of Chronicles, chapter 20, beginning at verse 1 through to verse 23. We will move on to the New Testament reading now, but if you would like to read Old Testament, please pause the video 
and then return to us for the New Testament reading. The New Testament reading is taken from the Gospel of St Mark, chapter 15, verse 42, through to the end. When evening had come, and since it was the day of preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was also himself waiting expectantly for the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate wondered if he were already dead, and summoning the centurion, he asked him whether he had been dead for some time. When he learnt from the centurion that he was dead, he granted the body to Joseph. Then Joseph bought a linen cloth, and taking down the body, wrapped it in a linen cloth, and laid it in a tomb that had been hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph saw where the body was laid. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Benedictus You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Let us pray. Let us come before God our Maker, making our prayers to him, through Jesus and in the power of the Holy Spirit. We pray that the Church may be alive to God's beckoning, quick to obey his will and always ready to act in his loving service for the good of the world. We pray that all leaders and heads of state may take wise advice and act responsibly for the well-being of all. We pray for God's guidance in the way we manage and care for this planet, its resources, riches and inhabitants. We pray for all marriages, for those seeking marriage partners and those whose marriages are under strain. We pray for all in close relationships that there may be mutual love and respect. We pray for all who are suffering through illness, accident 
or deliberate cruelty, for refugees and for all who are abused, and through the caring of human hands, may they experience the caring hands of God. We pray for all who have died violently or suddenly with no one to miss them. May all who have died in faith be judged with mercy and welcomed into eternal life. We pour out our thanks and praise for the gift of life and the gift of one another. May we treat each other with renewed reverence. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Collect for today. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us your gift of faith, that forsaking what lies behind and reaching out to that which is before, we may run the way of your commandments and win the crown of everlasting joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please join us again soon. Have a good day. Keep safe. Goodbye.